Today marks one week since Russian President Vladimir Putin launched an invasion into neighboring Ukraine. And with the Ukrainians putting up a fierce resistance, Putin's forces have targeted civilians, which Ukraine says is a war crime. Ukraine's foreign ministry claims at least 2,000 civilians have been killed in the past week. While the assault continues, diplomats from the two nations each say they're ready to continue peace talks, but it's not clear when or where exactly that would actually happen. Now, there are new signs of trouble for Russia's war machine. The Pentagon says a convoy of troops and equipment 40 miles long has stalled right outside of Kyiv. Now, due to shortages of fuel and food, the New York Times reports a Pentagon source is saying some Russian troops, young and inexperienced, are actually sabotaging their own equipment to get out of combat. The humanitarian crisis is growing. The United Nations estimates 874,000 civilians have left their homes in an exodus westward in the dead of winter, making it to refugee camps in Poland. But not everyone hoping for sanctuary is actually getting it. We are students. We are students. You're hearing them say, we do not have guns, we have students, we are students with their hands up in the air. Now, videos like these reportedly taken at the Ukrainian border with Poland show guards refusing to let African refugees cross after two days of waiting. The UN High Commissioner on Refugees said unfair treatment is not the official policy of either country and said there can be no discrimination at a time like this.